Ragnarok! Ragnarok is the official end of the world according to the Norse pagan tradition. Um, today, at some point, possibly by the day's end, the earth will split in half and all of the underlings that have lived underneath our world or in the underworld will actually spring forth. Two people from this planet will be saved and they will go and repopulate a much more fertile and better planet. So, happy Ragnarok to you all! That won't happen, so please continue to do your reading. I do expect you to have all of your reading done by Monday. Uh, those of you in Survival Lit, you know that that means I want you to be done with the road. Um, those of you in Contemporary Issues, you know that we have finished Ellen Foster, so please come in ready to work on your presentations. Um, and, of course, those of you in uh, Gothic Literature, uh, I asked you to read Children of the Corn over the break. It was a short story. You were not put out by that, so please do it. I spent a lovely week reading all sorts of books that I wanted to. Um, most of them were murder mysteries, but I did get to start my, my last uh, Bernard uh, Cornwell, and it's The Death of Kings. It's the very final book in the Saxon trilogy. Um, <coughs> this man writes a great deal of literature, and, and the rumor is that he was an influence on George Martin's work. Um, George Martin being, of course, the author of the Game of Thrones series, well, the Songs of Fire and Ice. Um, the most famous, it's called Game of Thrones series, which it shouldn't be, that's just the first novel, um, which none of you should read, as none of you are old enough to read, and none of you are old enough to watch the HBO series, so just stay away from that. But consider reading this stuff, because it's not as gross, uh, but you still get a lot of really fun, um, you know, early British history. This one takes place in 898, and we have um, the three kingdoms of, of West Saxon, Mercia, and, um, you know, East Anglia, con kind of all, you know, battling it out, and we have this great, you know, the Danes and the Saxons are fighting for who's really going to control Britain, and there's also the very interesting... Um, problem of, of the religion. Uh, there are still many people hanging on to the older Norse tradition. So it's kind of funny that I had started reading this this morning and then got up uh, out of bed and looked on the news and realized today is Ragnarok because I don't actually keep that information in the back of my head. No one, no one keeps the information in the back of their head. That's weird. Um, so it's just sort of it, neat to, to see that, you know, here's a man, the, the protagonist is a Dane. Um, well, actually, he's a Saxon. He was raised by Danes. Uh, he identifies as being more um, Mercian, but he was raised in Northumbria. He'll inherit um, this kingdom called Bedenbaden, which uh, none of you would know, but it's very high north in England, and it is uh, very close to Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian's Wall would exist at this point. This is, this is 898, so Hadrian's Wall is well established. Um, history. Uh, so it's, it's really fun. I'm enjoying it. I don't think that we're going to get into all that nonsense with like witchcraft and do nonsense like that. It's just more like, you know, the evil that people can do with metal and fire and little pointy arrows are, are you know, you don't need witches. Witches aren't that scary, actually. You don't need warlocks and dragons. Well, you always need dragons. Dragons are just, like, they're just awesome. Let's be honest. Alright, so this was a quick touch base. Just wanted to send hi and see how you guys were doing. Hope everyone's fine. Um, I might send out another one tonight uh, showing you guys how to make special Ragnarok scones. So I think that'll be fun. Um, look for that later tonight on the same YouTube channel. And I will see you Monday because the world is not ending. But if you don't pass my class at will, I am not amusing in the least. <laughs>